You wanted this video on Mercury. We have already discussed massive wealth combinations using your horoscope through Rahu, Ketu, Saturn, Jupiter, Venus, and now is the sixth planet. Please let me know down in the comments if you want me to do it for the rest of the planets, Sun, Moon, and Mars also. Finally, we are with Mercury, and Mercury is very important because he's the primary karaka for the 10th house. Do not forget that. Don't just see Sun or Saturn forgetting Mercury because Mercury is the karaka for skill. Skill gives you name fame because by skill you help others. All right. So if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And for consultations, you will find my website down in the description section. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and also comment below. Where is your Mercury? I may not be able to respond to each and every one of you, but I am going to look at every single comment. All right. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him. So what is the first placement for Mercury? This is from numerology. Now, what is numerology? Numerology is your date of birth. Okay. So as we have discussed for the other planets, now check your date of birth, just the date of birth, forget your time and place. If in your date of birth, you have five multiple times, okay, then the probability of you earning more money is exponentially higher. Now, what do I mean by this? So for example, you have numbers like 5th May 1995, okay, for example. Now, along with this, if your basic number is also 5, like in this case, the basic number is just the day. So if your basic number is 5, which means either you are born on 5th or 14th or 23rd, okay? And you have many other 5s, like, you know, you are born on 23rd May 1955. <laughs> there are 5 5s are there, okay? And... The best is if your destiny number is 5. Now, what is destiny number? You add your entire date of birth. That comes to 5. So, uh, if you add Prime Minister Narendra Modi's uh, date of birth, 17 September 1950, he already has a 5. And then if you add the entire date of birth, it is again 5. Okay. So, there are two 5s in his date of birth. One by the uh, 50s and one by the destiny number. So, this is exceptionally powerful. Okay. Now, of course, uh, Modi ji may not be like a multimillionaire or a billionaire, but uh, as, as you can see, uh, he or other, uh, if, if, even if you take other cases, you know, I can give you so many, as you will see, they may not have money, but they will handle a lot of money. They will, they will be uh, related to the finance sector somehow or the other, okay? They may not study finance, but they will do a lot of things related to finance. You will always see this, whoever has five, either as anywhere or in their basic number or in the destiny number now number two is also using numerology if you have five anywhere so you have five or you five is your basic number or five is your destiny number either ways and along with five you have the number nine okay so this is also a very uh big radio guy in numerology because the number nine is the number of mars and uh, the number five is the number of mercury so Mars shows fire in numerology, fire not in the uh, in a derogatory sense, but fire in terms of expansion. Okay, so whoever has nine, they always like to expand in life. Okay, so if you have nine and five, then you are really blessed with money. Now, you may say, okay, most of the people who are watching this video they are born in the 1900s, okay? But in numerology, what happens is we do not take the first two digits of the year, okay? So when I say you need to have 9 and 5, you need to have 9 and 5 like this. For example, 5th of September or 14th September or 23rd September or 18th May or uh, 27th May, something like this, or, 19th, or 1959 or 1995, something like this, okay? So apart from the first two digits of the year, uh, you should have 9 and 5 somewhere. Now, it could happen that you only have 5 and your destiny number is 9 or you have only 9 somewhere. You are born anywhere in September and your destiny number is 5. Even then, this will work, okay? Somehow, you just need a 9 and a 5. And I can quote so many personalities who have this. Uh, this is a yoga which expands your intellect for money. So, uh, Prime Minister Modi, he has this 
then ex indian prime minister manmohan singh has this then uh, shashi tharoor uh, has this then there are so many other personalities i can keep telling you know they have this 9 and 5 okay this is an excellent combination where you think of 10 ways how to earn money okay <clears throat> number 3 this is again using numerology this is the presence of number 7 along with 5 okay now 7 in numerology is the number of luck so again the same rule applies like 9 uh, you may be born on um, 7th of may or 5th of july something like this or 1975 okay uh, so more the so more the five the better it is okay and in this the only exception is the lesser the seven the better it is and the more the five the better it is so for example if a person is born on nine uh, on 7 july 1975 then seven is there three times the more the seven the lesser the power but if a person has like uh uh, 5th May 1975 so 7 is only one time but 5 is there multiple times so more the 5 better it is okay 7 is the number of luck so you will see people who have 7 and 5 in their date of birth they will always earn exponential amount of money and somehow they will earn it you, you won't believe it and you will think oh how, how do they have so much wealth like uh, Modi ji also has 7 and 5 uh, Shah Rukh Khan has this, Salman Khan has this, Madhuri Dixit has this, uh, Karishma Kapoor has this, um, Akshay Kumar, Shilpa Shetty, any, any, any normal polit uh, politician or any uh, film star, you look at their date of birth, they will either have uh, five too many times <clears throat> or they will have nine and five or they will have seven and a five. Seven and five is more prominent in like... Uh, people from any industry and 9 and 5 is more prominent for people who have very good intellect like uh, we have uh, Manmohan Singh ji he was a great e economist right I mean uh, he is still there <clears throat> and he was also India's finance minister and uh, exceptional personality and we have Shashi Tharoor he's a very good intellectual we have Modi ji also he's an excellent speaker right so you can see these three personalities and you can understand how strong 9 5 is and among the three, Modi ji has both 7, 5 and 9, 5. Okay. And he also has 5, 2 times. And he also has 5 as the destiny number. So that makes it much, much, much more powerful. Okay. And India's current uh, finance minister, Nirmala Sitaraman, she also has this 9 and 5. You can check her date of birth very easily. <clears throat> number 5. This is very, very, very important. Mercury, uh, number 4, sorry. Mercury's Nakshatra Lord should be related to the 11th house. Very, very, very important. Now, what is Nakshatra Lord? So, Mercury is sitting in a particular house, in a particular sign and in a particular Nakshatra. Okay, so Nakshatras are like uh, parts, you can say in loose terminology, they are like parts of zodiac signs. So, for example, if Mercury is sitting in Aries, but within Aries, Mercury will either be in Ashwini or Bharani or Faspada of Kitika. So now if Mercury is in uh, Aries, for example, and within Aries, he is in Ashwini. Okay. So then the Lord, the ruler of Ashwini is Ketu. And Ketu, if is situated in the 11th house from the Lagna, from the Ascendant. Okay. So wherever your first house is, check the 11th house. So if Ketu is sitting there and Mercury is in Ashwini, this is a phenomenal placement. Okay. This is... This can make you very wealthy in Mercury Dasha. Do not forget this because 11th house connected via the Nakshatra brings enormous wealth. All right. Number five, very, 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 very important. Mercury well placed in the D1 chart. What do you mean by well placed? Well placed means it is in a good house. Okay. And a good sign. So good house means for money it could be the second, sixth, tenth, or eleventh, one of the one of the four. But <clears throat> he is uh, digbali in the D10 chart. Okay, digbali in the D10 chart means Mercury gets digbali in the first house. So if Mercury is well placed in the D1, either in any of the houses, and he is also in a good sign, so it should also be good for uh, sign wise and house wise in the D1 and in the D10. It should be in the first house. Then the person becomes a very strong uh, leader in terms of doing something new. Okay, so the person is a revolutionary. So you will see people having this. Uh, they they can. It is excellent for startups and doing things which nobody has done before. Okay, number 
six. This is interesting. This is Mercury conjunct the sixth lord of your Lagna chart, but in a good dignity. So, for example, if Mercury is conjunct the sixth lord situated, both are either in Gemini, Virgo, or Taurus or Capricorn, or they are in like, you know, uh, Libra or Aquarius, okay? Now, this placement is very important because when Mercury is linked to the sixth house, you always think of money more and more and more and you think of more and more and more ways. So, this is the best combination for multiple sources of income. Okay, so if you have this, then you are really lucky. You can try for, you know, side hustles and all this, you know, it will work. And you will see Mercury connected with the sixth house, the sixth lord in a good dignity. You will always gain money from different sources. Now, if Mercury and Sixth Lord are together, but they are in a bad dignity, then what will happen is <clears throat> you will try 10 different sources, but you will lose money. Okay. So that's even worse than not having uh, a Mercury and Sixth Lord conjunct. Now, number seven, Mercury conjunct the Atma Karaka. The Atma Karaka is the planet with the highest degree in the horoscope. So if Mercury... <clears throat> Is conjunct the Atma Karaka, the person feels money is a very integral part of his life. So then what happens is he will naturally try to gain more money and work hard. But for this to work and to get activated, either the Mercury Mahadasha or the Atma Karaka's Mahadasha should come in that person's life because planets only give results in their Mahadashas and Antardashas. In Pratyantar also, but primarily in their Mahadasha and Antardasha. So if Mercury is conjunct the Atma Karaka, uh, suppose Mercury is with the Sun, for example, and Sun is your Atma Karaka, okay? So then either Mercury Mahadasha should come in your life or Sun Mahadasha should come. Now again, when I say it should come, it doesn't mean like when you are uh, three years old, it should come. Or when you are 90 years old, it should come in a reasonable good period of time. Like uh, in your 20s or 30s or 40s, you know, even in 50s uh, or nowadays, even in 60s, it could come. <clears throat> okay, so if both of them come, then you are very fortunate. Uh, but um, because both are very far, you know, so most likely uh, if your Sandasha is in the beginning part of your life, your Mercury Mahadasha may not come, okay? Uh, but the other way around may happen. Your uh, Mercury Mahadasha may come in 20s, you know, like beginning teens. But even then, you know, uh, it, it may not give great results because your profession doesn't start, right? So therefore, even <clears throat> one of that planets, Dasha, you get either Mercury or Dhatma Karaka, then it will give you results. And this is similar to uh, point number six. You, you will do a lot of side hustles and it's great to earn money, okay? Now, in this, if there are afflictions, then you may also lose money. Okay, so if Mercury and uh, Sun is together, Sun are together, and uh, the Saturn is aspecting this conjunction, so you may also end up losing money after you gain money. Okay, so this is where what you need to be careful of. Okay, now number eight, Mercury and Sun they are in Parivartan Yoga, so which means Sun is sitting either in um, Gemini or Virgo because Mercury has only one sign or two signs and the sun has only one sign which is Leo. So Mercury has to be either in Leo uh, or in Leo and the sun can be either in um, Gemini or <coughs> Virgo. Now among these two if the sun is in Virgo that's even better. Okay. But again this, uh, this yoga uh, is very good but this has to be supported by some other good placements like you know the lagna lord should be strong because parivartan yogas show some good karma and strength in the chart but if the lagnesh is not very strong then you get the good karma because of the past uh, life good deeds but you can't keep it it's like being born in a great great rich family but uh, then you lose all the wealth because of your mismanagement okay so therefore this has to be supported by a strong sun or strong moon or a strong lagna lord at least. At least the lagna lord should be strong. Only then this yoga can bring name fame especially. <clears throat> okay. Number nine. Mercury Rahu conjunction connected to the 11th house. Okay. So for example, Mercury and Rahu are together anywhere in the chart. 
but mercury is the lord of the 11th house or mercury rahu are together in the 11th house or mercury rahu are together but the 11th lord is aspecting okay this is similar to point number four which is like you know uh, mercury's nakshatra lord is in the 11th but here i am talking directly of mercury and rahu okay so now it could also happen mercury ketu are together in the 11th and rahu is aspecting mercury so even then this works but if rahu mercury are conjunct and associated with 11th you get humongous gains through your network circles you know you just make a phone call and your work is done have you seen some people they'll just make phone calls and the thing thing is done okay you don't have to work much in life okay number nine uh, number 10 this is the last but a very 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 important one mercury is well placed in kendra houses so either mercury is in gemini or virgo in either the first house fourth house seventh house or tenth house and so mercury has to be well placed sign wise then in one of the four kendra houses and in the d9 mercury should be well placed okay if in the d9 mercury is well placed uh, then it means you have the natural skill for finances okay not the finance sector but how to earn money you know how to earn money where to earn money how much to earn you know all this okay so therefore if you have this placement you can diversify your income this is a great placement for you know earning money through stocks crypto real estate and all this you know, passive income can come in naturally if the d9 supports all right so please comment below your mercury's placement and what other placements have you seen for people who have a lot of wealth either using astrology or numerology all right thank you so much for your patience if you like this video hit the thumbs up and share this video with somebody who wants to know more about mercury and wealth for consultations please go down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him